Hello, and welcome back to our Partner Portal series. My name is Christopher, and in Episode 5, we'll be covering the takeaway options. So let's start off by navigating to the page. So you can initially see that there are several options on this page. On the left-hand side, you'll see all the potential takeaway options you have for your event. And on the right-hand side, you'll see the option for a shareable email. We're going to be going over the left-hand side first. Um, so the first thing I want to do is go over the branded takeaway stickers which you open up by just checking off. These stickers are a second print at your event. So when your guest comes up, they take their photo. The photo is printed out with the coordinates on where that photo is gonna go on the mosaic. But immediately after that, they'll get a second copy of that picture as a keepsake. The only difference is, instead of where the column and row number would be, you have the option to add your own personal footer. So you could use this to like put your brand logo on, and you can see that the footer image has a set size, which in this case is 800 pixels by 180 pixels. So when you create that image for that footer, you're gonna to wanna to match that image to that size. So for our tutorial, this is the option we're gonna be going with. So I have created a footer here, which we're gonna upload now. You can also download a template for your takeaway options. This will show you a PNG document of how your takeaway option is gonna be sized along with the proper dimensions for your footer. So let's move on to the next option you have, the large branded takeaways. These are gonna be significantly larger and they're not gonna be adhesive stickers. These are gonna be prints. You have two size options, four by six and five by seven. Changing the size option will change the dimensions of the footer image ever so slightly. So you will have to keep that in mind when creating the footer for whichever size you select. Important thing to note is that if you select this option, it requires a DNP printer. You'll need a DS620A model DNP printer for both size options. This printer is not provided by Picture Mosaics, so you will need to pick one up. So it's important to keep that in mind if you're looking to do a large branded takeaway option. Moving on to our next option, the Mosaic Me takeaway shares some similarities between the lar large branded takeaways. You have the same size options, four by six and five by seven. Once again, you'll have the footer size change ever so slightly, so you'll need to match that. And this will also require a DMP printer. The difference between the Mosaic Me and the large branded takeaways is that the Mosaic Me will give your guests a personalized mosaic of themselves using an image library that you've created prior to the event. This is a, a cool little personalized touch that each guest can walk away with. Um, so it's always fun to see, to see how they react to see their own photos mosaic. So now that we've gone through all three of our takeaway options, we're just going to go ahead and stick with our branded takeaway stickers. You can only choose one takeaway option, so be sure to pick the one that will best complement your event. But we are gonna do a shared email. This will be sent out to guests who have filled out their email information as part of your data collection that you might have selected back in the customizable camera app section. The information cells here will be filled out the same way you would fill out an email that you're writing in your day to day. Two things to note here are you have the customizable options of a header image and a footer image. These images, like all the other images, will need to be sized properly so they're not stretched or pixelated. So I have created a header image here for our email option, which we'll bring in. And then you're just gonna fill these out. You'll notice a download template for our email options. So we're gonna go over that first. So here you've got your subject line, your sender's name, and your preheader text. And the preheader text will give the reader an idea of what's inside the email before they open it up. Your greeting, which if you notice has a name optional in brackets, that name optional will automatically be filled in by the system based on the information your guest gave during the data collection step when they were taking their picture. Then you have your shared image as well as the body of your email at the bottom of the page, some social media apps that the reader can choose to share that image on. 
So now let's go ahead and move back to the portal page. Um, while we do that, I'm going to fill out my email message just to save us some time and then bring you back in there. So now that we filled out our email, we can move on to the social sharing options as well as customizing our shared image. We're going to go with Twitter just because I feel like it'll get more traffic on there if people are constantly tweeting and retweeting and liking the tweets. So it's a good way to, to get your finished mosaic out there to show the world. The field forms underneath the social sharing icons can be used to accompany your image with some text every time it's retweeted or shared. And then for our share image, you can move this box around. We're going to put ours in the bottom right hand corner. And then this rotate button will rotate where this pointer goes. And this pointer is just a representation of where your guest's photo could be. And then our last thing to do is you can send a test email to make sure that it looks the way you want it to look. And then once you're done with that, go ahead and save it and we're done. In episode six, we're gonna go over ordering supplies for your event, as well as compiling your project. So be sure to check that out.